Good morning. Uh, my name is Ed Pence. I'm executive director of Crossref, and I'm very pleased uh, to welcome everyone here today for Crossref Live uh, 18. Um, the theme of uh, the next couple of days is uh, how, how good is your metadata? So we're going to be talking a lot about a lot about metadata and the opportunities for uh, for uh, better metadata. Uh, the um, hashtag uh, CR Live 18 uh, is up there, so uh, we encourage everyone to um, uh, to uh, to tweet and uh, continue the conversation uh, online. So just to give a little overview uh, of the next couple of days, uh, we've got a really great lineup of both staff and uh, guest speakers talking about a whole range of uh, topics. And um, uh, we're going to have a combination of uh, plenary sessions, which will be in here. And we'll have time for questions uh, and discussion. Uh, we'll have a couple of roving mics. And so uh, when you ask a question, if you can just say who you are and, uh, and then ask your, ask your question. Um, we'll be recording all the sessions. We're not, we're not doing live streaming this year, but we'll have the recordings and we'll make those available online, uh, online afterwards. Uh, and then, um, so we have the plenary sessions and then we're also doing uh, some what, what we're calling unplugged sessions. So this is some, something new. And uh, we've got a couple of different uh, areas so that just before lunch and then through lunch, uh, it's a, a casual way to uh, talk to Crossref staff and, uh, and others in a couple of different areas. So uh, just over here, we have uh, UR Crossref, where we have some initiatives and projects and collaborations from other organizations uh, who've uh, provided some posters. And so you'll be able to look at the posters, but also um, uh, uh, chat to uh, people about those initiatives. There's, there's a citation matching game, I believe, over there. Uh, so that should, be, that should be good. In the back corner, it says unscheduled maintenance, and that's an opportunity to talk to Crossref for uh, uh, tech support, membership issues, uh, billing, uh, and also um, uh, any uh, so help with, the, uh, with election advice. I'll get, I'll get to that in, in a minute. Uh, it's not about the U.S. midterms, but uh, uh, we're having our own election. Uh, and then past, uh, we'll be having the food and coffee there w where you came in. But on the far side, we have the Bigger Ambitions Room. And uh, in there, we'll, there'll be a chance to talk to staff from uh, uh, the labs team. Uh, also, there's some stuff about metadata principles. And then there is a giant uh, uh, poster. Um, with uh, the perfect metadata record, yes, Ooh. expressed in both XML and JSON. And you can actually uh, write on them, uh, the boards, and annotate. So, so staff will be there, and, and we have some other uh, uh, collaborators and uh, people who will be over here. So we're hoping that that will be uh, very, uh, very interactive um, uh, at, over the next. So we have a session on that. Uh, today and uh, and uh, tomorrow as well. So just as a way of introduction uh, to, to highlight that um, at the end of today, uh, we have our formal corporate annual meeting, uh, and that's that's very important part of Crossref governance. You'll be hearing later from uh, Lisa Hart about Crossref governance and some of the work that the board has been doing over the last uh, uh, year or so. Uh, but we're uh, having an election at the moment uh, for uh, the board of directors seats. Uh, there are seven candidates for the five seats that are up for election. And um, election, uh, online voting is open until 3 p.m. local time uh, today. So if uh, we've had a lot of votes, it looks like we'll probably be uh, more than double the votes from last year. And um, uh, But if you haven't voted or you're not sure then please talk to uh, Lisa Hart. I think she'll be back by the unscheduled uh, maintenance area during the break. And there's Lisa waving, just stood up at the back. So, so we know that there are, I think, about four organizations who we know are here who haven't voted. So if, if you're unclear, just, uh, just check with Lisa because we just want to make sure everybody has a chance to, uh, uh, to, get their, uh, to get their vote in. And then at 4.30, at the end of the day, we will be announcing the results of the... Uh, the election, so so that should be uh, very, uh, very interesting. Okay, so uh, 
some other introductory uh, remarks, uh, just to highlight uh, some a uh, couple of recent events. A big big event was that we reached uh, 100 million records in Crossref. This is a really important uh, milestone. It was the end of September uh, when we reached that, and of course this represents not only journal articles, but many other content types. Uh, we have uh, books and book chapters, conference proceedings, uh, and recently we uh, added preprints uh, as a content type. That's been growing very, very quickly over the, uh, over the last year. Uh, but it was very exciting, and so back in the year 2000, when Crossref was founded, uh, the, uh, the, uh, initially a group of 12 publishers uh, got together, uh, and that got Crossref rolling, and the first board of directors had 15 organizations, and we started off with 15 members, and then later that year, at the end of the year 2000, uh, we launched the system with about 2 million records. So to be getting to 100, really, 100 million records is uh, really, uh, really fantastic. And um, we now have uh, over 11,000 uh, members from 118 uh, different countries. So uh, Crossref has uh, uh, really grown a lot, but we only got to that 100 million records through uh, our members' commitment to Crossref's mission and, and, and helping support Crossref and, uh, and moving us forward. So uh, we want to say thank you to all the members and for all the content that you're registering with us. And uh, we have some flags uh, that marks to mark the 100, 100 million. And the flags, we may have something, do something with the flags later. I'm not, not quite sure about that. We might get a picture with everybody waving their, their flags just to, so you can maybe get some practice in uh, beforehand. Um, so, so this was a really key milestone. And it was interesting to note, I went back and looked, and uh, we hit 50 million records in November 2011. So that was after 11 years, we got to 50 million, and so actually we've, we've, it hasn't taken us another 11 years, we've done it a little bit quicker with 100 million records. So as, as we've grown and as we've expanded globally, uh, and, and more and more members and different types of organizations have joined Crossref, the amount of content has, has really expanded, and I think that just uh, means we have a really robust uh, system and we have a great, great community. The other thing that we've been working on over the last couple of years is uh, thinking about the why of Crossref. You know, why does Crossref exist? And then how we express that uh, to uh, the community and, and others. Uh, and so a couple of years ago, we started uh, looking uh, at our, our, our branding. And so we have we got a new logo. The website was updated and refreshed. But uh, just as importantly, we actually thought a lot about uh, how we talk about Crossref. And uh, we came up with a set of uh, truths that are on the website, and they're, they're listed here. And these are key principles, sort of a philosophy by which Crossref operates. Um, and so uh, we have the key themes here, uh, and that, that should come out over the next couple of days um, as well. But uh, come one, come all, we're very broad membership. One member, one vote, that's in demonstration uh, today, where we'll, we'll be uh, perform that really critical governance function of, uh, of board elections. Uh, Smart Alone, Brilliant Together, it's all about collaboration. Of course, metadata and technology are, 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 are critical. You'll uh, see some of that in the unscheduled maintenance and the bigger ambitions room. Uh, what you see is what you get. We try to be open and, and transparent. And here today, here, here tomorrow, uh, persistence is really critical in, in everything uh, that we do technically, but organizationally uh, as, as well. The other thing that we've been working on is the Crossref strategic narrative. So the starting point for this was uh, sort of our, our rough mission statement here about Crossref as a not-for-profit membership organization uh, that exists to make scholarly communications better, rallying the community, tagging metadata, running open infrastructure, playing with technology and making tools and services, uh, putting scholarly uh, content in in context, so that that's the sort of high level theme. But um, in July uh, 2017, the Crossref Board of Directors had a scenario, strategic scenario planning session. Uh, scenario planning is a particular sort of a discipline or, or or method that's used for organizations to develop um, uh, strategies, and uh, it's useful because it um, uh, it gets people to look forward and broaden their thinking, and it doesn't try to predict the future, but it just says here are some of the key trends and here are some possibilities for the future, and, um, and then you develop a strategy around that that helps you uh, cope uh, 
and, and deal with uh, things that, 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 that may happen. And so out of that, and then staff worked on it uh, and, and came back to the board and refined it, and uh, we came up with the four key strategic themes that are uh, in our annual report, which you will have gotten in, in, in your bags. That's, that's the sort of theme of the annual report, and it's the theme of some of the, the talks over the next uh, uh, couple of days. But we have uh, simplify and enrich services, expanding our constituencies, improve our metadata, and collaborate and, and partner. So I'll just touch on a couple of these, and then what we do is we actually frame uh, what we've been doing uh, what we're working on at the moment and what we have planned for uh, next year. Uh, we've divided it into these quadrants, so uh, we'll be talking about a lot of these things uh, things today. Uh, but, you know, we've got a very ambitious agenda that you can see, and, and we're, 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 we're doing a lot. Uh, and, um, uh, and we're also working on uh, some, some R&D uh, projects as well. But uh, we've got, um, this year, we've uh, launched Metadata Plus, uh, which, again, there's, uh, back in the Bigger Ambitions room, there's uh, information about uh, uh, Metadata Plus and where all the metadata goes, how it's disseminated, who uses it. Uh, we've developed some new tools like Metadata Manager, making it much easier uh, to register content with us, and a whole host of things. And we've got a lot of improvements uh, and, and new things planned uh, for next year in terms of Simplify. That critical area, improving, improving metadata. So a big thing we launched this year was participation reports. Uh, so if you haven't seen that yet, definitely um, uh, take a look. We, uh, it's a dashboard for organizations to see uh, how complete uh, their metadata is uh, with, uh, with Crossref. And we've also been doing one-on-one -on -one, uh, health checks with organizations, walking through. Um, uh, and, and there's also links then off to, for instance, if um, if you're looking at, say, licensing metadata or uh, fu uh, funding, um, putting in funders and a funder ID, there's a link off then if you don't know how to, uh, to do that. There's a link off from the, dash, uh, from the participation report to information about how to actually get that metadata uh, in, in, into Crossref because that'll just enhance the value of the system to, uh, to everyone. Um, we've been working on the research organization registry, uh, organization IDs, and, and a whole uh, host, of, uh, host of other things. So these slides will be available, and we are planning on publishing a version of this on, on the website relatively soon. Key areas, expanding our constituencies. So we have an ambassador program. We have some ambassadors here uh, today, but uh, uh, these are uh, people all around the world uh, who uh, help us run local events and provide information uh, in, in their country. This has worked out. Uh, really, really well. So we'd like to thank all the ambassadors for, for what they've done. We have a host of um, uh, local events that we have uh, around, uh, around the world. Uh, we're looking at creating a, a community forum and this year holding um, uh, a tech summit, uh, Crossref Tech Summit. Uh, and uh, a key area here, though, is that we've also been working with um, uh, grant identifiers. Uh, and uh, adding that, uh, which would involve funders actually be potentially uh, joining Crossref and assigning, uh, registering DOIs for, uh, for grants. That's uh, something the board is actually going to be looking at at their meeting on, on, on Thursday. And selectively collaborate and partner. Um, there's always a tension between uh, resources uh, that you have, and there's lots going on, so much to get involved in, which is great. You know, there's, there's a lot of innovation going on. And um, we collaborate with, through the DOI Foundation with other registration agencies, uh, there's Metadata 2020, I mentioned the Research Organization Registry, there's uh, Scholix as, as well, so a whole, whole host of things, um, and um, uh, some, there's information about some of these things here uh, today. So we've got a very uh, exciting agenda for, for Crossref, and um, we've got a very exciting agenda for uh, today and uh, tomorrow. So with that, I'll just end my remarks and say thank you, and uh, thank you for coming. <laughs>